Hello and welcome back to Tactical Tinkerer. Today we'll be taking a look at still one of the most advanced airsoft MOSFETs out there, the Jefton Leviathan. The Leviathan is loaded with Nilsim focus features like the real field trigger system, external reload switch support, and full app control. If you're building a serious setup, especially for realism or DMR roles, this might be the MOSFET you've been looking for. First impressions out of the box is that it's packaged really well and the build quality looks solid, as it should be at this price point. The wiring is noticeably stiff, but that's actually a good thing. It should hold up better long term and add to the overall durability. Trigger alignment with the optical sensor was no problem, it lined up easily. The wires are a bit stiff, but Jeffcon includes little clips to help keep them secure, which makes wire management a lot easier during reassembly. One nice surprise, it actually comes with a speed trigger included. I didn't realize that at first, but it's a solid bonus and fits the optical sensor perfectly. Definitely a nice touch at this price point. One thing I'll say, the Leviathan does take up more space than a basic trigger board or simpler MOSFET. So make sure you plan your layout carefully, especially if your gearbox is on the tighter side. I spent a bit of time double checking where the board would sit and how to route everything cleanly without pinching wires when closing the shell. Luckily I didn't have to do any modifications. I'd also recommend dry fitting everything before the final assembly, especially the selector plate and trigger, just to make sure the optical sensors are reading properly. You don't want to find out after you've assembled the whole thing. If you're using aftermarket parts, it's also a good time to check for any potential interference with the board itself. It sits close to the sector gear so spacing matters. Overall, I was pretty satisfied with how the install went. Everything fit well in my gearbox and I didn't need to modify the shell at all. That said, there's no printed documentation included in the box, so if it's your first time installing a Leviathan, you definitely want to have the online guide or a video tutorial pulled up. It's not overly complicated, but there are some steps that, you, that could trip you up if you're not familiar with optical systems. Next, we'll move on to the app and its features. After you're done installing and putting everything back together, it's time to connect to the Jeftron app. 
first thing you'll want to do is connect your battery, open the app, and pair with the Leviathan via Bluetooth. It should pop up right away, and from there you'll be prompted to set up password. This is a handy feature. It prevents anyone else from changing your settings. One of the coolest things you can customize right away is the fire selector modes. You can assign different firing behaviors to each selector position. Safe, Semi, Burst, Binary, Full Auto, whatever fits your playstyle. It's super intuitive. You just tap on the position you want to edit and select from the list of available modes. It makes it really easy to set up something like Semi on Safe, Burst on Semi, and Full Auto on Auto. Or even lock the gun to Semi only if you're playing at a field with stricter rules. You can even create presets for different setups and switch between them depending on the event or your role. Next up we've got the rate of fire control, and this is super useful if you're trying to stay within field limits or just want to tone things down for realism. Right below that is active braking. This controls how hard the motor is stopped after each shot. Turning it up gives you a real snappy, responsive feel, especially helpful for semi-auto builds. Just keep in mind that higher braking can heat things up faster and wear your motor more over time. Under active braking we've got another useful feature, pre-cocking. This one's all about speed and efficiency. Instead of letting the piston reset completely after each shot, pre-cocking stops it just shy of full release, keeping the spring partially compressed. With pre-cocking, you get near instant trigger response, especially in semi-auto. Your motor barely needs to spin before the next shot fires, which is why it's favorite for DMRs, snipers, or precision builds where split-second timing matters. Just keep in mind, it's less ideal for full auto spam or ultra-high RPM builds, since holding that spring tension could lead to heat or lockups if pushed too hard. So if you're looking for crisp, semi-auto, pre-cocking's your friend. Then there's the delay between shots option. This one's perfect for milsim or DMR style setups where you want to enforce a slight pause between trigger pulls. You can adjust it down to milliseconds for subtle control or extend it for a much more deliberate feel between each shot. Next up, let's talk about external inputs, specifically the bolt catch switch. This is where the Leviathan really shines for players who want both realism and functionality. Here's the brilliant part. If you set up magazine limits, say 30 rounds for that realistic Nelson experience, the bolt catch switch becomes your new instant reset. When you empty your mag, just tap the switch and you're immediately reset to another full 30 rounds. No physical reload needed. To take your realism to the next level, pair the bolt catch switch with the reload delay timer to simulate actual reload times without changing mags. Here's how it works. First, you set your mag capacity, for example 30 rounds, and then you program a 2-3 second reload delay. When you empty your mag, you hit the bolt catch and your ammo resets back to 30, while your gun stays disabled for those 2-3 seconds, exactly like a real reload pause. Moving on to the next screen, this is where we handle sensor check and device calibration. These are your essential setup tools before diving into performance tuning. First, the sensor check. This real-time diagnostic tool lights up to show exactly which sensors are currently active. It gives you instant visual feedback and it helps identify misaligned optical sensors, sticker detection issues, or trigger contact problems. Think of it as your quick health check before serious tuning. Then we have device calibration, which has two critical steps. Number one, optical sensor calibration. The system automatically detects your sensor gear sticker. It precisely determines safe, semi, auto cutoff points. Run this before any other adjustments. Manual fine tuning is available if you need perfect alignment. Then we have optical cycle calibration. It maps your sector gear's full rotation. Critical for advanced functions like active braking, so it knows exactly when to stop, and pre-cocking, that identifies the optimal piston position, and ensure your motor always stops at the perfect moment. Proper calibration means more consistent performance, fewer misfires, better protection for your gearbox, and optimal function for all advanced features. Now we're on to the diagnostics page, your build's personal fitness track. This is where the Leviathan gives you real-time performance analytics to fine-tune your setup. Some key metrics to watch are the rate of fire, cycle time breakdown, power diagnostics, and thermal monitoring. This matters because they aren't just numbers, they're your roadmap to smarter upgrades, longer gearbox life, and more efficient builds. These can help you benchmark stats before and after modifications. 
you can also combine it with the sensor data to diagnose potential problems. This matters because they aren't just numbers, they're your roadmap to smarter upgrades, longer gearbox life, and more efficient builds. Now for one of the Leviathan's most entertaining features, the external sound system. This lets you trigger custom sound effects through your phone based on your gun's actions. And while the included sounds are hilarious, There must be some real utility here too, I think. I guess the empty magazine sound could be pretty useful. After going through all these features, one thing is clear. The Leviathan isn't just a MOSFET, it's an entire ecosystem for your airsoft gun. We've covered the highlights today, but there are layers we didn't even touch. What makes the Leviathan special is that it grows with your needs. Whether you're a casual player who just wants reliable semi auto a speed softer choosing 45 RPS, or a Milsim builder needing realistic controls. There's always another level to explore. The downside, you might spend a bit more time tuning than playing. So is the Leviathan worth it? I say yes. If you want the most feature-packed trigger system on the market with near endless tuning, real-time diagnostics, and pro-grade reliability, then absolutely. Just know you're paying for precision, durability, and future-proofing. It's not the cheapest, but for tech-focused players who want zero compromises, there's nothing else quite like it. I'd call it the Swiss Army Knife of trigger boards. Overkill for some, essential for others. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.